Let's begin with the unboxing of the Alusha E2, a tiny rugged PC that uses just 8 watts of power. The keyboard is flexible for greater portability and completely waterproof, enabling it to be easily cleaned. Also included is a user manual, AC power supply, in this case for the UK, USB mouse with optical sensor and retractable cord, compact flash card, and Visa mounting screws. The Alusha E2 itself is housed in a rugged aluminium chassis, and with no moving parts, it can withstand drops with the two meters. On the top, we have grooves, which allow for heat to be dissipated, negating the need for a fan. In the front, we have a compact flash slot, two USB 2.0 ports, audio in, audio out, and a soft power switch. In the back, the power supply, dedicated power switch, PS2 port to connect a keyboard, VGA port to connect a monitor, 10100 Ethernet port for online connectivity, and additional USB 2.0 port. The entire operating system is stored on this one gigabyte compact flash card. But since Puppy Linux only occupies 90 megabytes, that frees up over 830 megabytes for personal storage. We insert the compact flash card in the slot here. Of course, for the Alusha E2 to be of use, we're going to need a display. So in this case, we'll use an 8 inch LCD that weighs just over a pound and consumes a mere 10 watts of power. It's available from us separately and is ideal for field use. We connect the monitor using a standard VGA port here. We then connect the power supply, flip the dedicated power switch in back, and press the power button in front, and wait for the system to boot up. Using this watt meter, with the Alusha E2 fully booted up, you can see that we're using just 8 watts of power, about 95% less than a traditional desktop. A modern desktop computer consumes over 200 watts of power and uses an AC power supply. The Alusha E2, by contrast, has a 5 volt DC input. This means we can directly attach it to a solar panel and a widely available car battery. To charge up the battery, I'll simply use this $20 small solar panel and connect it directly to the sealed lead acid battery, the same kinds you find in a car, only in this case slightly smaller. To do this, I connect the red positive clip to the charge point here. We then connect the black minus clip to the corresponding charge point there. After several hours, this battery will be fully charged. It can power the Alusha E2 and the display for over three hours. To connect the Alusha E2, I use this specially modified power supply and directly connect to the battery using a red clip here and a green clip for the minus point. I then flip the switch and the power button in front. One of the best attributes of the Alusha E2 is its ability to mount directly on the back of an LCD using the included four screw points. For demonstration purposes, we'll use this 19 inch LCD, which features a 100 millimeter by a 100 millimeter standard Visa mount. To attach the Alusha E2, we simply position it over these four screw points and use the included mounting screws to secure it in the back of the LCD. This reduces the footprint of the computer and also increases security, making it ideal for education institutes, internet cafes, healthcare, or anywhere where space and security is at a premium. I then tighten the screws and then less than one minute 
we have an all-in-one PC. The only thing left is for us to attach the monitor using a standard VGA cable. I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration of the Lucia E2 and a look at some of its capabilities. Thank you for watching and thank you for your time.